Hi and welcome back to a quick tutorial. Here we're going to have a look at the different options in automation. So a lot of people ask me what's the difference between write, read, touch and latch. So let's go to automation and have a look at those. So read obviously is when you've written something in the automation and uh, that reads it back. So here we have the touch option. So if I start writing something so let me just have a look at let's open up a plugin say the the eq so what i'll do is i'm going to start recording some automation now so touch okay start moving that around and as soon as i let go of it it goes back up to minus 1.5 okay so that means let me just take off the cycle so that means when i touch it again it will work only Whilst I touch it and when I let go, it goes back to its original minus 1.5. Okay, so let's go back and try latch now. So if I do latch, which I prefer and I only use latch, I never use any of the others. So if I go latch, same thing happens, it automates, but when I let go, it stays where it is. And I'll go back up there and it'll stay where it is. It won't go back to the original minus 1.5. So starts at minus 1.5 and then when you let go it will stay where you left it that's the main difference between latch and touch now write is a bit different not very useful i find this erases basically what just was written there what you've got so if i start um to go it will just automatically go along until i start writing it erase what's there which is not very practical because it just erases what you've done. So I never use write. And then it goes back to touch, by the way. But anyway, that's the main difference between touch and latch. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.